game. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome to the Thunderdome. Tonight we're hitting up Half Life Blue Shift. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. Oh, man. Oh, oh boy. Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to pull up the steel chair and I'm going to open it up and give you a nice comfy seat to sit down in. Oh, yeah. Right, anyways. Tonight. You know, finished. Ran through Half Life Opposing Force last night. Um. <coughs> Right, no, I'll just start from the beginning. All right, hello and welcome online tonight with Half Life Blue Shift. Um, finished Opposing Force, like ran through all that last night. Um, night before, finished off Half Life One. Um, and just like those, I've never beaten this before. I actually got pretty far into this, I guess, like f chapter uh, four. I think last night and night before, I think I said this had five chapters but I looked at the chapter list again and there was there's eight chapters so it was a I don't know if I got that wrong in the first half life video or like the first half life stream but the past two streams I think I said there was like five chapters when I looked it up but no there's eight um but yeah this is pretty short from what I understand like looking at the how long to beat said three hours um I've never completed it before just like with half life and Opposing force up until you know I finally ran through them fully on stream here. The past few streams, um, I was thinking of foregoing the. Uh, I mean, I don't always like I have my schedule where you know I try to stream like you know Tuesdays through Fridays, which I've been real shit at sticking to. But like Saturdays, I'm like yeah, I'll stream if I'm feeling it. And I was kind of like I want to get through this. But I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe we hold off on this till Tuesday or something. Because I am kind of feeling uh, kind of shitty for some reason. Like, uh, <coughs> like my throat's just been kind of feeling like dry and somewhat sore today. So, that and uh, after the last few streams as well, when I, like, wasn't just, like too bad last night. It was fine last night, but like after the uh, the stream on Thursday when we finished up Half Life, and I think also the one on Tuesday when I started it, um, like after those both of those streams, I was feeling like real like kind of dizzy after the stream and all that. So I don't know what that's all about. Plus, like my side, like lower side back area, like my right side is feeling kind of like stiff but anyways we're uh, going through Half-Life Blue Shift tonight and we're uh, going to play as uh, our main man Barney Calhoun um, and I did not mess with any of the settings yet so HE models are disabled multiplayer death decal limit right interesting uh, let's Turn that up a little bit. Sound effects are kind of loud. MP3 will turn crank up, and HEB suit will crank up a decent amount. There should be good. And uh, want auto aim off. I'm gonna turn on raw mouse input, but I'm gonna show you what happens when I don't. So I didn't have that on for the Half Life playthrough, but opposing force, I had to have that on. Otherwise, the uh, camera was not cooperating. Um, yeah. Yeah, only, uh, didn't, uh, <coughs> didn't put up any more of the, uh, Tales of Berseria stuff yet, so I'm, uh, very limited on space here, so hopefully this shouldn't take too long, because I only got about 40 gigs of space on my 8 terabyte hard drive. <laughs> I need to clear a lot of that out, uh, but I'm going to get, like, a lot of them past streams up, but, um, yeah. Look to get this done, and then I can chill on the weekend with the new Azure Lane, uh, new Azure Lane event. I mean, working hard on the, uh, the Tales of Berseria stuff, of course, is what I meant to say. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't turn on raw mouse input. 
Also, I just uh, just had a uh, you know the camera just jerks around when you don't turn that on. So uh, you have raw mouse input. Hopefully that should fix it. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Yeah, I just had a a um, <coughs> a Bob Evans turkey dinner uh, delivery through uh, DoorDash. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guard Training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Yeah, you know, Whenever you full see one of these buttons, the... press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. <laughs> yeah, hit him. Full Bob Evans turkey dinner that I ate, and uh, so I, I may have to run to the bathroom, maybe, possibly. Also, I didn't eat the rolls or the pumpkin pie yet, so I do have those. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have a... Uh a slice of pumpkin pie to enjoy for victory once we uh, get through this as well as a couple rolls moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first take a moment to get a feel for moving around once you get comfortable with this proceed to the next section just around the corner see at least my man uh barney gets a helmet you know Although working here at Black Mesa, I would uh, say you'd probably be better off with, you know, a full hazmat suit. You know, at least a gas mask, shepherd head. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over <coughs> all three of these obstacles in order to proceed. It helps to get a running start. Watch me do it. Good work. I kind of feel bad I cut off the Barney hologram. You'll need to duck out of the next set of obstacles. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be heard. Oh, he's not going to demonstrate this one? I was going to wait for him this time, but he's not going to wait. He's like, going to wait for me. I ain't going to do it. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to... To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. It may be tricky, so, I mean, this first, training you'll find it comes in handy makes sense gameplay-wise, but, like, why do they have this, like... What's the lore reason why, why they have a... Nice work. ...obstacle course that the scientists and security guards have to run through? into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. So, I mean, the facility down, is dangerous, right? Very dangerous, but it just seems odd that you would, uh, but yeah, you're going to be expected to, uh, you know, crouch, worry, jump, you and, uh, you know, uh, climb around on boxes. Run, you're doing just fine. If you keep falling short, you may be jumping too soon. Uh, stuff like that, like, like, what? like it's just weird. It's like, yep, there's a government facility. Uh, you know, I know we are a scientist working on a research project, but you're expected to know how to um, crouch jump uh, and uh, you know just uh, to start the lift, fire a weapon and, and press the use key while facing it. duck under pipes and jump over pipes and avoid radioactive hazards all over floor. And like, why would that be okay? Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next session. <coughs> don't worry about being forced to take fall damage. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your fuse key. Your 
Your health will recover gradually <coughs> until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Mm -hmm. You may also find HEV charging stations, such as this one, mm -hmm. throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment. <coughs> so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. I can't actually use the HEV. Why? Really? So do you charge your, uh, like, do you charge your armor as a uh, Barney then just by picking up uh, additional armor suits on? Is that how that works? Uh, back to the flashlight. <laughs> Rather than the night vision. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. Oh. <laughs> what you really need to do is attempt. push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push if it you into can position. Crouch, jump that. I don't think you can. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While when you've got the same level of strength as Gordon and, and Shepard, I see. Also, just like turning the valves, though. Like, I mean, I haven't played it myself, but I've, you know, watched playthroughs of it. The uh, RE4 remake with Ashley, where she's like turning a valve and she's like, oh, I'm a. Like, so I'm quite good at it. Uh, it's like, I'm actually quite good at this. <laughs> like, what, turning a valve? Why is that something you're just gonna try to do? It's super basic, of it. Yeah, sometimes you've got to come back. Like, why are the Black Mesa staff expected to break? Open vents with You'll need to cr use your a crowbar. The area. It's, it's, it's odd. But yeah, you're gonna be expected to open a vent Great. with a crowbar Remember, and just break the uh, lose power over great time, to pieces. So switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the So I see this is all just the same hazard course that Gordon ran through. It's just we have a security guard, uh, hologram rather than a scientist You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, <coughs> try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. Mm -hmm. To fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Mm -hmm. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. Mm -hmm. I'll start the sequence in five, four, three, two, one. We go oh, there's one more here. Congratulations! You've completed the Black Mesa training target range. Well, you may you advance to the next area. Your heads-up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. 
At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. So just like all of the Black Mesa scientists and security guards are here, yeah. expected to be. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. Professional operators of a uh, an MP5 with an underbarrel grenade launcher and you know an RPG and uh, a Glock and a. 357 mag through fire or steam you'll see damage icons <coughs> come up in your heads up display directional Central charges will show you from what regular stuff to do having a black hood proximity to radiation activates a geiger counter radiation oh, display in your helmet but many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in your heads up display Please proceed to the next section. Let's go. <laughs> Lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, You're approach so the short. person and press your use key. Yes, I will, will follow, follow you if you wish. You My man Barney, he's gonna load up on some sodas while you're doing that. Don't mind me. your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or backward to increase or decrease the speed. Bye, holographic Barney. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard course for security guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. medium like I did on the others. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit like how old System. The, uh, this automated train is provided for the comfort of the and its, uh, like the expansions for the original. They're all, like the names are all scientific terms. The time is Blue shift, and I believe opposing a. force is probably also a scientific term that could be used as one. But it's also a term used military op for like games and stuff for the uh, opposition this train is inbound from the area 8 topside dormitories to the central transit hub in area 9 please keep your limbs inside the train at all times do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled passengers should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station. I don't remember the word. Who's just a shift? Both like light spectrum shifts in an object. If your intended destination is a high security that's moving one. I think blue shift was. You I believe that was first stuff that's moving away. Red shift is first stuff that's moving up. towards you. I think you might be that way. Right? Big Tony's Pizza. You must report to Black yeah, I bet my man Barney he could go for a slice of Big Tony's Pizza right now. To the high security branch of the transit system. If you wish to transfer to the Sector B or C medium security <coughs> lines, you may do so before you reach the Central Transit Hub at the Area 9 security checkpoint. Access to the medium security branch of the transit system 
is for employees of the Black Mesa Research Facility and authorized visitors only and requires that you wear your security badge at all times. I remember you see G-Man somewhere here, but I haven't actually noticed him. Oh, there's my man, Otis. Elevino. Friend like you. Man. Hey, Calhoun. I wonder if... Looks like we're in for a long day today. Okay. Have a good one, Calhoun. I wonder if my man, G-Man. I hope he was over there having a slice of Big Tony to pizza. Of the transit system. This is a medium security Ooh, area of the Black Mesa facility. Right. Be sure to wear your identification badge at Mesa all Mesa times. Mesa. Yep, security officer. Yes, sir. Area 3 security. Master response puts priority preservation of um, equipment and personnel. Low for research personnel. Low priority with personal safety. What? <laughs> now arriving at Area 3. Mm, priorities of the Black Mesa facility are uh, real clowny. Isn't this in, like the main game where you see like Barney banging at the door? Oh, is that my man Gordon right there? Let me in. Hold on a minute. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. <laughs> hey, Gordon. About that beer I owed you. Calhoun, we've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, mm -hmm. security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. I'm a little busy right now, Calhoun. Sorry, Calhoun, I'm on duty. <laughs> we got HE Particle Labs, Refreshments Area 3 Security. Well, shouldn't you be on duty by now? Yeah, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We'll be going to refreshments. A. I can't grab anything from the vending machine. I could jump down there, but why would I? <laughs> so I don't know if there's a way back up. Oh, this probably just takes you down there. Never mind. Alright, fair enough. Yo. Yeah. I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't mm -hmm. even been able to get into my office. Yep. I know, sir. I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Well, he's Just a give us some time. To... Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy, and I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. Come on, Dr. Kleiner. Uh, other Barney here. He is a security guard, not an IT professional. All right, we'll get you your your stuff. Armory, video, 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 video. Nice of oh, you yeah. to show up this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. Most definitely will be a long shift. Pops. Hood. Lever it. Lombardi. Phillips. Coy. Truck. Jones. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> oh, hmm. Yo. What happened in here? Were the toilets malfunctioning? The shower room in here too. Oh, I mean, I got my armor. So I guess we just peace out. Uh oh, now what? 
Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? Well, my man's security, not a uh, elevator repair man, so uh, I mean, what do we kind of get? Also, is this where I'm supposed to go? Cause I, mean, I haven't been over here yet, so I don't know if I'm actually supposed to go over here or not. Let's go to the armory. There's personnel on me. Oh. How's it going? Here you go, Calhoun. Yo. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. Cool. Only give me one magazine. All right. Fair enough. See, we got other other Barney. You're hitting a little low. I'd uh, aim up a little bit higher. Or not. You can just keep shooting the same spot. That I just, is what it is, I guess. I'll just grab the ammo. My man Otis. Otis, I would just, you just eat the donut and then grab your pistol or... Or... You know, you could swap hands, put the donut in the left hand, and then grab your pistol with your right hand. Although your hand's probably uh, greasy now from the, you uh, or sticky or whatnot from the donut. So, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know if you want to get frosting and stuff all over your, or a glaze or whatever all over your uh, pistol. But, I mean, you know, it's an option. I'm gonna take number three. Oh, there's one number two. Oh, number two. far there. Some of them shots, but generally pretty solid. Nice job, Barney. Nicely done. Do I have to put the gun back if I uh, leave? Or do I get to, uh, hold on to it? I guess I'll hold on to it. You want to give me one of them shotguns? I think she's like Gina Cross, I guess, from Half Life Decay. This is like, is that like a console exclusive Half Life game or something? I've never played it, so I have no idea. I've never, uh, never watched anybody play it either, so I don't know much about it. Like with OG Half Life, Opposing Force, and Blue Shift. I mean, I, like I said, I played them a little bit, but never beaten them up until you know these uh, these streams of uh, these games. But I do have some knowledge on them, even though I haven't 
run through them, but with Half-Life Decay, I mean, I don't really know anything about that. It's like OG Half-Life and Opposing Force and Blue Shift. I want to say I might have seen someone play them before, probably, possibly. Have a good one, Calhoun. Shouldn't you be on duty by now? I'm, I'm going there. What do you mean? Come on, what is this? There's caution on backwards there. Caution, caution. No. Uh, wait, walk. I wonder if I should. Shouldn't you be guarding something right now? Yes, I'm working on it. What is happening here? Uh -huh. Please, leave me alone. Yes? Don't yes, you, you have your own job to be doing? Are scientists even really like good at this? Because I feel like scientists are generally like the theoretical Let me help you. stuff and they don't okay. know how to you know actually doing. do the hands-on. Of course, theoretically. You smelled something burning. I can't really tell. Let's try this. Whoa. 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 <coughs> it's like how with the engineers too. It's like engineers always it's like well, know all the theory and stuff, but what they don't to do much of the hands on and all that. And I always like when I was younger, I thought they did both. And should know both, but I'm like, no, it's a mainly the theoretical stuff, and I'm like, hey, well, this is fine, I guess, but you know the design stuff better if they knew what, how to actually, like, um, maintain the stuff they design, so that way they don't over-engineer it and, you know, can design it for easy maintenance, but, you know, that'd be too much of a good idea, you know? Shouldn't you be guarding some donuts and coffee right <laughs> Donuts and coffee, all right. Yeah. If you're waiting point. for the tram to Sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Uh, I think everything in the facility is having problems. Well, I guess we're walking. Taking the maintenance access. We'll go on foot. What was the ladder here? Just a few fall down. <laughs> Why make the area that big? In that case, I think there's no real reason. It's not like the tram's that large. dark back here. You can break the boxes, but it's like, I don't want to use pistol ammo just to break some boxes. <coughs> ah, ladies and gentlemen, you enjoy your Big Tony's pizza, you know. I'm sure you would. How could you not enjoy a hot slice of Big Tony's pizza? I wonder what kind of pizza you got, you know? You think you got the... So I myself like the, uh, the Supreme or House Special kind of pizza, you know, where it's just got a bunch of stuff on it, like pepperoni, sausage, peppers, mushrooms. Just all sorts of stuff thrown on there. Sector G main access lift. How's it going, gentlemen? Well, it's about time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Uh, I'm a security Make guard. This thing works so we can get on with this miserable day. I'm a security guard, not an elevator maintenance specialist, all right? 
you guys are the scientists. Shouldn't you know how an elevator operates and be able to fix it? Right, let me see what I can do here. Okay. You just, you couldn't push the button? It was that easy. All theoretical, no practical knowledge, Jesse. I see he had a heart attack. Improper. <laughs> Plain terminated for improper handling of a firearm. They just had a heart attack and exploded that way. What was I supposed to do? I can't do anything about that. I wonder why this is happening. I'm gonna take the damage. How long is this elevator? Why are we taking damage? We're stuck. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What is this? What, I, what can I do here? I feel like it's got to be a frame rate issue or something. I'm going to guess, but I don't know how I would limit frame rate. Let me see what we can do here. What can we do? Someone suggested here on Steam real quick to try using software for the renderer that reopened the game. Maybe, kind of. It's having a rough time. <laughs> Okay, maybe the, uh, I shouldn't have done that because the game has crashed. All right, good, good. Let's see. Let's try running it in software. Mo oh my God, we're four by three now. Oh Jesus. Okay, I just I'm just just gonna do it for the elevator ride. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh Jesus. Hopefully they don't die again. I don't know if that's the software. Like the slash, you know, whatever that was, or if that, no, I'm taking damage again. It's gotta be a frame rate issue. Okay. Those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard. Damn the asshole anomalous materials people. If there's one good brain among them. Still took damage from the elevator right over here. Uh, they're alive. I didn't take too much damage, but I took some because of the games. Software mode seems to have helped. Oh, look, whoop, accidental firearm discharge. Uh, sorry about that. Don't oh, mind that. I still think it's probably a great issue. Alright, see, he dies anyway. Yeah, 
Let me try and see if I can. I mean, he just took on the way he should be doing it. He doesn't want to. Your UI is a lot bigger. Your <laughs> UI is a lot bigger. Okay, alright. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And then I'm gonna set it back to OpenGL. It's on OpenGL. I'll set it back to I can't set it back to Oh boy. Bro, I really can't set it back to... The other resolution. To, um... Trying some wacky stuff. <laughs> Am I not going to be able to get it back to a uh, widescreen? 1440? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, widescreen. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Widescreen was right there. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're good. We're good. I mean, we're good, yes. Does make the UI real small, but we're good. I'm just gonna, I don't think I need to, but I'm just gonna restart it one more time. I think we should be good now. I think we're good. See, we're good there. Good there. Good there. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, we're good. Take armor damage though, because of the elevator. <laughs> Open to the uh. Oh, I was gonna say, what happened to the scientist? <laughs> he ain't looking too good. What are you. Blew that up, but I did. 
what did that do for me? I don't know. That disconnect power, so I did. With a uh, crowbar. Right to the control panel. This was uh, a dead end back here. So a little bit of ammo. Oh, yeah, this was where I came from, actually. So just a little bit of ammo there I missed. Alright. My cardboard box bloodlust. I have to destroy him. Oh, I feel like that was probably engaged. When the power was on. Disabling power disengages the lock is what I'm guessing. Is this just regular water? Nope, that's definitely hurts you. Mm. Can I destroy those? Doesn't look like I can shoot through that. No. Why are you not getting hit? What? I shot you multiple times, you didn't get hit? BS right there. Uh, <laughs> right. So I'll get a couple of these out there. Yep, it's a normal door and door noise there. Doors normally make door noises like that, most definitely. Oh my. Let's put. Can I not push it back there? Really? There's a chair out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, maybe I can use that. Alright, I took some kind of serious damage. Not a whole lot, but... Oh, there was that over there. All right. <laughs> uh, this may have been all for nothing. Across over there. Okay. What was up that ladder? What we got going on up here. Scientist. Calhoun, how did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. I see. Please leave me alone. I don't want them to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. Um, I'm just going to take the her down. I don't want to take fall damage. I feel like that's going to hurt me. I just know the game's going to be like, oh yeah, fall damage. I'm going to be like, ugh. I'm going to go back to heal up. Smidge here. It just looks like, like Half Life and Opposing Force and Blue Shift here are just like so quiet. Like with the uh, lack of music. I mean, like Half Life had occasional music, but not much. I think they use uh, music a lot more in Half Life 2.
Determination that is incorruptible, one might say. This one wasn't even trying to fight me. He was just chilling back here. I mean, well, he did when I came back here, but he was just chilling back there, lying in his own business. Trying not to get killed, and then I just come in there and. Oh man, Barney. Clearly merciless. at a faster rate of fire a whole lot of so I've been doing just like single taps with the uh, main fire there but I really tried out the alt fire so I was curious what it did I did try it like a little bit accidentally in the opposing force but I never actually I only shot like one bullet so I didn't actually uh, see what it really did How can like Shepard gets the good gets his crowbar, right? And uh I can all waste crushing him just because of fifty feet. But the Gordon gets his crowbar and uh Shepard got his uh pipe wrench and knife. But then my man Barney he just gets a crowbar at Gordon. Uh, just like a regular part of the uh, the kit of a uh, of the personnel of Black Mesa or something is just crowbar. <coughs> Put it in there. I'll try going up there first. Let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, uh, that's busted. 
that is a valve of some sort that I'm going to turn. What did that do? Uh, I don't know. That is pump out a decent amount of steam. Let's see if we can go in there. But let's see what's down here, I guess. Another valve. It's locked. Oh, shoddy back here. Why'd the shot scientist have a shotgun? <laughs> it's just a regular part of the uh, the Black Mesa kit. Is a you know, crowbar, it's boss twelve, Glock seventeen, or whatever kind of Glock this is. Yeah. I like they have the ATVs. Uh, you just can't use them because you're not authorized personnel. It's kind of a neat detail. Back over there. More over there, is it? Under here. Oh, 
control. That doesn't help me with the lift, but I guess it gets me up here. Can I do anything with this? No. in there. They startled me a bit. I wasn't ready for going to be just spawned in there. I was thinking they might, but I wasn't prepared for it and they spawned in and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Fucking jumped a bit there. Well, it's a good thing they put these up because they knew that part of the bridge was apparently going to break. The uh, walkway. is odd that they would have known that. You would think they would have repaired that. Bottomless chasms. Why is this just the most dangerous facility in existence? back here to heal up. He was ready. So I'm gonna camp the uh hell station. I guess it's a good plan. kind of weird. Like, I feel like regular half-life, the enemies despawn once you kill them. But then an opposing force, the body stayed. But now, blue shift, they despawn. Like, I don't... Weird. Uh, yeah, I heard another one. I don't know if there was another one, or if it was like the one I get. That generator power. Now we can go up here. Now we can take the one lift to get to the other lift. We can take this lift to get back to the other lift to get to the other lift. The third lift. A lot of uh, tactical elevator action. Okay. 
if I do? I don't think I can take this up. Yeah, that's a um, void. Alright, so I think what we gotta do then. Quite possibly. Move this around. Now, do I have to throw it down? Do I push it down with a lift or can I just toss it down there? Let's find out. to the furthest chapter I got to. Alright. Neat. We got training yard, freight yard, warehouse, health exit. Oh my lord! Down when I loaded and started unloading my shotgun for some reason, that was interesting. area here in the bunker. <laughs> Some cover. Where's that coming from? This seemed like I couldn't open this. Unless I can go the other way? I don't see... Can I open this? Oh, there is a... Uh... Oh, yeah. I can. We don't have any uh, as many weapon categories as you do in opposing force. <laughs> Only five uh, sets there, rather than the seven. Magnum. Oh, Magnum. I 
wants me down here. It's around this corner. Pain. Pain is what was around the corner. Can't go out there. And there's a lot of dudes out there. I don't know if I want to go out there anyway. Well, back into the tunnels. Temperature steam pipes. Uh, yes, I see. <laughs> Should have stood next to him, clearly. I'm sure my man Barney can handle a few third degree burns, and he'll be fine. Why would the shutoff valve be in between where the pipes burst there? Or the release valves or whatever is letting that steam out? Because clearly it wouldn't be the pipe that's bursting because it wouldn't stop otherwise I would think. Well, unless you have like an internal shutoff or something, I guess. Either way, quite odd. being in uh, water right next to a you know uh, shorting circuit there is uh, definitely very safe oh the bad see now in this case the bodies are staying here earlier they exploded that's weird I think sometimes they stay there, sometimes they uh, just uh, disappear. I don't know. It's weird. In this case, they stayed there. I guess it probably was the case that that happened in the main game as well. I just remember the body stayed there a lot when they closed the course. During the main game, sometimes they disappeared, sometimes they didn't, I guess. I could blow that up, or I could just leave them there. lowered the elevator and I've and then raised it back up and then stood on top if there'd be anything of interest up there but I don't think so it looks like that's graded off with the an unbreakable grate anyways or something.
kill the one? I should kill that one. Get to it if you want to go. Knock it off. I'm gonna break the box. It's a good thing Barney did them, uh, the hazard course and all that. somewhere. Where did you come from? Mm, that proof did take some damage. I wonder if there was a way to disable that. I think I just had to make that. Maybe blowing that one thing up would have worked, I don't know. He just feels like a little why can't he waited until after I blew up the boxes to spawn it? What a guy. Why'd you throw it that way? <laughs> this way. That way. just supposed to regularly crawl through the uh, death work. Broke it open. What is with you guys? I 
kill the other one, but I was like, ah, oh, maybe, you know what, maybe they're not actually on me. No, they most definitely are. There's a normal there. I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. Okay. Maintenance office. I was not ready for you just kick the door open. Steam tunnel and access elevator main stairwell. Alright. No storage keep clear. Shotgun kills to the face and he doesn't die. Okay, great records. That's locked as well. well. I took them out anyways, I guess. Why does it load and then it just unload my gun? I'm gonna knock one of these over there and then shoot it. <laughs> See if we can launch it over by their feet. They're just gonna blow me up again. Why is this one not able to go through the door? Careful now, careful now, careful now. Okay then. Oh, bro. So we'll just do this a little bit and go. We'll both shot grenades at each other. I need to just fight them normally. There's someone else nearby. Like it just loads and then just 
dumps my mag for no reason. It's like, dude. Alright, let's push these back. These are dangerous. Plan's uh, not working. In which case, I'm gonna slip out here and open the door. I'm with one of them. I don't want to be standing next to these. Go back the other way then. That's where we actually have to go. I want to see if we can open the one door. Oh, too far now. There we go. Let's see if we can open that. Maybe uh, close it off then. I thought that might be where we gotta go. So a little bit of ammo I missed. Right, so we have to go this way then. I still can't get in the top for me. Yep. Whoop. Too far. A little bit too far. What if we... I just want to see if I can go over there, if there's anything over there. I don't really... It didn't really seem like that. We're getting up top or anything. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just leave. some of this. boxes. Alright, so we got the one room got the stuff over here. Someone let us out of here. Yeah, well in a moment. Help! Someone let us out of here. Yeah, you're nice and safe in there, you're fine. Help! Someone let us out of here. 
There you go. What the? See, so far, I mean, like, Barney hasn't had to deal with all them special aliens. Like, Barney and Gordon haven't had to deal with all them crazy other aliens that, uh, that Shepard had to. So why'd he have to deal with all those? I feel like the freight yard is going to be where we got to go, so I don't want to go over there yet. Rescued at last! Thank God you're here! No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. I'll be right behind you. Why are you leaving me here? Look, you stay here. All right. I'm going to go check out the one room, and then we're going to go in there. And check out this area. Happened in here. <laughs> Get out some of these boxes. Oh, maybe you can get stuff out of these cards. Oh, yeah. There's health packs in some of them. Fair enough. Oh, quite a bit of first aid, actually. Alright. Well, they look like they got gunned down. For the screenshot for the thumbnail. <laughs> Upload this to YouTube. See if we can get some. I stuff. suppose a security guard should know what he's doing. Let's go. Take long if you don't want Lead to. the way. <laughs> Figured I'd just take you with me if just cause. This is as far as I go. Well, seeing as that's there, I figured we're going to probably want to get on that. But, well. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, yeah, give me that. Hear me? How are you doing there? Can anyone Bells, hear me? BTW. Hello? Can anyone hear me? What? Hello? That's Hello? the only door, so it's gotta be. Can there. anyone hear me? Maybe I can Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh, stop pounding on the door. Oh boy. Can 
anyone hear yes. me? Stop pounding on the door. Hello? Stop. Can anyone hear me? No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg, but you'll still help me, won't you? Of course, of course. Lockdown. Now they're sending more. <coughs> we do it? We good? With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. We should have like had him out the fifty. I don't think we can though. <laughs> I refuse to go another step. So you know uh, how to uh, use a fifty cal there, Doctor Kleiner, number uh, M three one. I guess we just leave him here. That dude wouldn't follow me, and um, I could take him some way, I suppose, but I feel like he's probably also going to be like, oh, I'm not going any further. That's a tank with a missile launcher? <laughs> what? Why would you have a guided missile launcher on the side of the, the turret of an Abrams? What? Something for like fire support on a, like a Bradley, like uh, some other type of IFV like that. by uh, uh Abram's main gun and you know, taking like two damage or whatever. Which have the um, 120 millimeter. Gun. <coughs> I like how they were just prepared in a in M1 Abrams to fight. One security guard. And they just happened to, uh, you know, be right there have a truck filled with, uh, rockets. How convenient. <laughs> Very convenient for my anybody. Also the fact that, you know, he didn't blow up when they shot the truck, you know, kind of, you know, feel like this entire truck would have went up in, uh, 
flames and you know just completely blew up. Blah, blah, blah. No, only the uh, the roof and it's, oh, it's smoking a little. Let's still uh yep same chapel. Chapter 4. I don't know what point in that room is. Other than to uh, house electrical equipment. The only one over here I see. CO2, high pressure, non flammable gas. Um. I mean. I feel like I'm gonna wanna get through here. Well, it was a good old satchel. I don't know how, uh, didn't even blow it up. that worked. Why, why did you throw it in there? I got him. Railroad yard, tow engine bay five, freight warehouse. Armor. Turntable controls. Bay door five. I feel like I definitely didn't want to do that yet. Unless, well, that's just kind of a, It's not an engine, that's just a rail car, so maybe I did want to do that? I mean, that's also just a rail car. scientists in uh, that rail car to be uh, shot later. 
Why'd they even throw them in the rail cars if they were just gonna execute them anyways? Unless they were gonna try to take some to interrogate for later or something, I guess. I don't know. That's locked. Hello! I'm in here! Can anyone hear me? Hello! I'm in here! Can anyone hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I hear you, Doc. locked right now anyways, I guess. That dude has a different voice, so I think maybe that is kind of a good voice, maybe. I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involved something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. Perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. I guess I was really hit. Gotta be more than just that, right? Or that whoop. 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 Well, I mean, we found Rosenberg, but can we disconnect this and take the uh, little train here? No. All right. Now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. All right, let's stick together. New Mexico Railroad Line access tunnel, all right. So where are we trying to go? Probably through there. I don't think that was uh, open previously. see something. Is Dr. Rosenberg in the other games? Um. Wait. Lift decay. Well, he's just a blue shift and decay here, right?
The voice for Rosenberg is done by voice actor John St. John, but he's known as the voice actor for Duke Nukem. He certainly doesn't sound like Duke Nukem. <laughs> like this. <clears throat> Got to be stepping in with his uh, famous uh, line. He's like, uh... <laughs> now there's no time to waste. Oh. I'm here to chew ass and kick gum, and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> Lead the way, Calhoun. Thirty minutes. Most definitely not the actual line. Move like the mean dick kick him around. Yeah, 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 calm down there, Dr. Rosenberg. Sorry, there's no time to wait. Did you use the water fountain? Oh, look at that. I think that heals you. Soda heals you. Maybe the water fountain does. Or the uh, drinking fountain. I think I got all the no smoking signs in here. Anything like everything else in this facility won't kill you. It's locked. This isn't the same staircase from earlier, is it? I don't think it is. I think this is another one. Oh, it might actually be the same staircase. Maybe. I don't know. Down in the Let's basement, see. though. Yes, here it is. I guess it is. Why'd we come back here? All right. Let's hope we don't run into any more of those soldiers. What are you doing? Why are you looking at this? What are you doing? Why were you staring at that? Is that where it's supposed to go? Hold on, Calhoun. You'll have to slow down a bit. What are you doing? Why are you staring at this? Oh. I'm just getting it out of the way. Section A17, prototype lab, we high security have chosen area. The reactor for an escape, access. But the crew there is bent on fighting the point. creatures. With all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Have like a hidden lab and over here. Those try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. I mean, to me, it doesn't really seem like anyone's really trying to fight any sort of battle here. They can't win. It's just more of everyone's trying to just get out of here. Yes, let's go. Like what he's trying to do. So I don't know why he's like, oh yeah, them fools are trying to fight a battle they can't win. So, no, I think everyone's actually just trying to leave. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. you made it. We've managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. 
Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now there's no time to waste. Let's go. Say, is this a good doctor finder's first name is Walter? No. First name is Isaac. Well, looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising field damping the led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now, this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, okay. in theory, that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this exactly. lab uses the older this technology. Kind of like Duke Nukem. <laughs> in order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to Obviously go he's to the world the Duke and Nukem voice and all that, but... I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. Hmm. Can't right. mess with the... I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Simmons, can you hear me? It's ready. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that weird tentacle plant thing just killed one of the, uh, one of the Quite a ways. 
Let's go. Okay, the other way. Pleasant noise. So this is uh, chapter five out of eight. Got the chapter this thing. I don't know. Start over here. So I'll start over here, work my way from right to left, I guess. first. Hopefully this isn't where I have to go. Um, there's multiple paths here as well. I just really hope I'm not, like, just accidentally just taking the right path. You know, because I want to explore. Ah, that was a loading zone, so I feel like this has to be where we gotta go. Maybe, maybe, no, this is back at the, wait, what? No, this is back where I came from. Okay. 
I guess there was one of the tunnels over there that I didn't notice previously. So this is where we came from on this tunnel. And I went in that one, I guess? I didn't notice that one. set of tunnels. There's like one of the tunnels cleared. Still two more. So we still got that one and this one. I'm gonna go this one. Hopefully this isn't the right one. Um... Back to the other one. <laughs> I'll deal with that. Let's see what's over here. I don't want to deal with that flooded area on the other one there. Well, I'm thinking this will lead to that same area, though. Yeah. This leads over here. Back to where that other one did. Oh, this guy's just not healing me. Yeah, it is. Wasn't standing in the right spot, I guess. Alright, let's check the other area here before we uh, go through there. So it's off the, uh, this way over here. A dead end with a head crab. Alright, fair enough. Anything else in the water here? A bottomless pit? Ammo? jump Barney. Come on now. Thank <laughs> you. 
the obelisk. Like, that was just really weird. <laughs> All these, uh, Floating landmass. You gotta be shitting me. They pushed me off, dude. Alright. Well, they ain't screwed around this time. We're using the magnet. goodies over there, perhaps? Hopefully. Uh, way down there. I don't really get back up from here. I guess that's where I got it. I'll go this way. my health. What? What just hit me? Is one of these plants or was it the running water here? That somehow inflicted serious damage to me. Hey. Oh, 
off. Final boss and blue shift will be. I imagine there will be one, right? Because the one in the base game, I Hlimp, I absolutely hated. However, you know what? I didn't mind the one in Opposing Force. Right, we have some weird crystals set up here, a bunch of dead bodies. here though. More gear set up. I'm running some sorts of tests here on these. Okay, what does this do? Power is operational. What are we uh, looking to do here? we want it in the red? <clears throat> Focuser and minerals aligned, alright. I figured I had to do almost the other Really? Really? I figured I would have had to have uh, used more with that emitter. Are you really just leaving? Ooh. 
Okay, man, that was odd. Oh, come on, you're really gonna have to run back in here. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Trying to do it. Shots available. I could have killed the other one. I'll take two shots with her or so. Oh, apparently, took three on that one. That was interesting. Unless one of them didn't count as hitting, but it looked like the. Uh... Oh, like the cursor was on him to me. What was that for? Back to heal you again. Ooh. Say I like ask if I can get up there, but doesn't look like there's anything of interest over there. I think there's gonna be one of them around one of them rocks there at some point. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Heal up yet again. <laughs> oh, there's a the med pack right there. Good. Good. Excellent. Don't have to walk quite as far. I could walk back. I'll just keep going. I shot him with Magnum and didn't kill him. Really? 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 What is this? What are you doing with this? Also, is this back at the starting area? Subject alone. Status unknown. Employees assumed to have perished with remaining personnel during the Lambda incident. I see. All right. All right. Let's get out of here then. Alright. Don't want to be trapped in the zone. That'd be awful. Good job, Mr. Calhoun. We began to worry when you didn't come back for some time, but it looks as though you were able to get the device operational. The signal we're getting is very strong, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. The power reserves were just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. Mm -hmm. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. I can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator. Follow me. Oh, I was trying to have them rolls, my guy. Just munch on a roll real quick. Leap of faith. I don't know. That's chapter 6, I guess. Alright, what do we got? What do we do? Oh, we don't. 
Oh, uh, there was a oh, yeah, the security closet there with the armor, but I can't go out there now. Man. What is this? Probably some sort of battery or power source for that, I'm guessing. Ah, uh, here we are. Down below are the old power generators that were used to service this lab. You should find what we're looking for down there. Once you've located a new power cell, make sure it's charged and send it up the freight lift. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me have one of these rolls here. Let me just enjoy one of my rolls. Give me a quick link. He's like, Mr. Calhoun, time is of the essence. We have to do everything as fast as possible to get out of here alive. And Barney just pulls out. A nice little bread roll and some butter and just, he's like, alright, just give me a snack break real quick. <laughs> What if I go talk to him? I can't. Alright. Fair enough. Chapter 6 was so short. So that was chapter 6, right? No. Wait. No, wait. Focal point found chapter 5. No, you didn't. Power struggle chapter 6. Okay. Wait. Leap of faith. What? Didn't we just have one that said leap of faith? <laughs> Like a save? Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Leap of faith that says it's chapter 7. What? <laughs> How do we do chapter 5 and then chapter 7 and then chapter 6? And then I guess we're going to go back there to chapter 7. What? I'm so confused how that works. What? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Knocked it off. Good. One armor. I need to get in there. Reserve coolant basin. There are a lot of uh, coolant basins and plants and tanks and whatnot in the black base of facility, it seems like.
We've got to get Hold out of here. Hold together. If we don't get the power cell charged, we're all going to die. Look out! Get out of here! It's just one boarding him. He just takes a couple of shots. He just kind of gave up. All right. Are we moving here at some point? Hello? Uh, what? What is it? What am I? What are we doing here? Clearly, I can't break that. That's not opening. That's not opening. What? What am I meant to do here? Vader's gonna kick that door open and I'm gonna have to light him up. <coughs> Be like on the uh, Tantive 4 over here. somehow. Why are you guys so grenade happy? You just blew up your own dude. I mean, he was already dead, but you just blew him up. Stage stations and ATV stations look different. Uh, I don't want to go first here. Yeah, we got this. Let's see what's up here. Pain. Pain is up there. Greater access. Oh, they just. There's a shortcut over here. Pain was up there though. sodas here. A few cans of pop. Soda. Soda pop. Locked. <laughs> 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 
could have taken him out without a grenade, but. That's what you want to do, you can't just stand there, I won't stop you. Power struggle again, yes, I'm, I'm aware that's what we're on. <laughs> I hope we can trigger that somehow. stuff going on in here. Take some time to figure it out. Uh, I feel like I can't go in here. Yep, that kills you instantly. I hate when it loads after you die and it just unloads your clip. Or your magazine. I don't like it going to the clip. <laughs> Not using a bolt action rifle with stripper clips. Submachine gun firing nine millimeter parabellum. perhaps. Right. 
I'm guessing what we gotta do is we got these barrels, and I feel like we gotta make. It doesn't really look like we can extend a bridge here, so I'm guessing we gotta make a bridge using the barrels. We'll see how well that goes, I guess. Lighter. <laughs> you gonna grab the ladder? Yes. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now let's position these in such a way so as to make a bridge. I guess. At least that's what I'm thinking we're gonna do. It's like they move so slow. Up and like unless you actually like grab them and then push them and then you just toss them full strength across the room. Which is not what I wanna do. But I also don't want to move them this slow, so it's like I guess I'll just deal with it. Space them out more, but I don't know. But that's good enough. Right, let's get up top side here. Why is it going down? High capacity elevator, if that's the case. Alright, now let's re lease the fluid, the coolant. And we'll head over here. Can I move this? Nope. I don't know what it would do, but I'm just curious. Nope. Easily, I guess the revolver. Maybe not. Out of the way. Turn the 
this over there just in case they need to pop a crot. Why did you follow me? Stop unloading your weapon, fool. I don't know that I need to do this. Follow the barrel into the coolant, please. Thank you. Thank you, Barney. I thought I heard something else. I wasn't sure if it was an enemy up here or if it was uh, one of the head crabs. Death gurgles or something. Way out over this way out. Oh, no, that's... What did I do? Oh, let's get the bridge up here. Oh, is there anything down there I want? Full on grenades and shotgun shells. I think I'm good.
I was hoping you'd show up. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can oh. get out of the way. Oh. oh, my man. Okay, so that's lift after me. Charge it, I guess. This is probably, you know, a fragile power cell here, you know, you just, you know, toss it around like it's nothing. Should be fine, there we go. <laughs> I see, so the other one was uh, out of battery, I guess. Fair enough. Power cell charging station. Charge up. there Barney. Alright. Oh there we go. Mm -hmm. Also is it glowing green now a little bit? Uh, it does uh, say it's uh, charged now. It's got power. We'll push it on the lift I guess. See what happens. It'll be up there. <laughs> I guess. I didn't want to do that. Let's see. Ah. Anyway. Little misclicks. I was hoping you'd show up. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. Mm -hmm. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh. Feel bad for my man. It's also not glowing green. Or tinted green. never used that key before. <laughs> Apparently there's a quick swap to last weapon. I've just been using the scroll wheel the whole time.
Whoop. Link hit the back of the chair there. <laughs> Apologies on that. Also, why would there be a staircase here that leads to a bench? <laughs> Just unless this is actually a gate that can raise or lower or something, but it just seems like a you know, just a regular chain link fence. I don't know why why put a staircase there. Doesn't make any sense. Preparing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. You are faith. Save. <laughs> oh, I see. I was gonna see what happened. <laughs> if you had plot armor, if it was gonna do that. What are you waiting for, Calhoun? Get up to the control room and locate the main power switch. Very good. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. Of course. Walter. 
Very good, Calhoun. I'll be charging the system for the next teleport event. Someone's busting through that door 100%. I heard the Marines. Didn't know there's more Marines down there. Took a fair bit of damage. <laughs> Not oh, ready for that. Is. Calhoun, you've arrived. When you didn't come through right away, we thought that the... Oh no, there's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement. Oh, ah, shit. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go Function occurred at the last moment, and you might have been caught in an incaut. Oh, crashed the game. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I think that was the end. We're back here. Preparing again. <laughs> I'm preparing again. I'm gonna bust through that door. I'm gonna blow him up. <clears throat> Slash one right. Ready to go. Charging up. This time, right? Ah, there he is, Calhoun. You've arrived. When you yeah. didn't come through right away, we thought that. The... 
Oh no, there's something <laughs> wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. His body seems to be in some sort of resonant displacement. <laughs> Place you can go to is a uh, guy. Uh, Adrian, I believe. Uh, teleporter gun. occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this hair-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. Neat. Oh, that was the end right there. All right. I think. Is this the end? Yes. Yeah. Subject Calhoun status out of range. No further comment. <laughs> I like how like Gordon gets put in like stasis or whatever for 15 years or whatever until um, Half-Life 2 happens. Um, Adrian just gets sent to the void. And then uh, Barney's uh, G-Man's like, yeah, he's, he's fine. He's just gonna go. <laughs> he's good. Well, we finished Blue Shift. Quite pleasant, quite enjoyable. They're a bit shorter than uh, Opposing Force and uh, quite a bit shorter than uh, the uh, base game. Quite enjoyed it. I do quite like Marty, He's a cool character. Well, finally beat Half Life 1. Opposing force and blue ship. I'm quite happy about. So I guess you know, next. Uh, I mean, I'll hit up Black Mesa and um, half the two at some point. But like I said previously, you know, I'll be uh, next week. I'll be jumping back into uh, <laughs> Stein and Lord that I started up last year and did one stream of and haven't played since, so uh, I'll be uh, continuing that and we'll just burn through that and um, then um, work on one of the other games I'm working on currently. Hit up um, either Super Robot Wars 30, Atelier Verona, or um, um, what was it? Uh, Star Ocean First Departure R until um, until the Tales of Arise DLC comes out, and then I'm going to be uh, focusing on that. Uh, yeah, well, that was fun. Uh, finally completed that for the first time. I'm quite happy about that. Uh, yeah. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> what to say, really. Other than to have my victory... My victory pumpkin pie, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Well, that's completed. I find it weird, like, you know, Opposing Force had, you know, Opposing Force under, like, up here under the, you know, Half-Life. But Blue Shift doesn't have Blue Shift on here anywhere. <laughs> it's kind of weird to me. I don't know why that's the case. It's odd. But, finally got through that. Very enjoyable. Um, I was considering... Uh, let me just leave this up here for now, I guess. I was considering, um, you know, seeing as this was short last night, like, 
I was like, yeah, we'll be, you know, hitting up. I was thinking like, yeah, we'll be hitting up, uh, you know, Blue Shift. And, you know, from what I understand, looking at the how long to beat, it's pretty short. So maybe I'll go hit up some Super Robot Wars 30 or something. But, yeah, I really got to run to the bathroom. And I'm uh, also, like I said earlier, the start of the stream, I'm kind of feeling kind of shitty. Like, not, like, too bad, but kind of eh. So I'm going to probably just call it here for tonight. And um, I'll be back next week with um, Wolfenstein: The New Order first, and then um, I'll run through something else. I don't know. I mean, I might download Old Blood and run through that real quick. I plan on doing, you know, Old Blood and New Colossus at some point as well. So I mean, I might run through Old Blood real quick, maybe if I feel like it. Oh uh, yeah. With that in mind, um, yeah, it was very enjoyable. Uh, I guess we'll uh, get to uh, wrapping up. Make sure to uh, get out more of the um, Tales of Berseria playthrough this weekend. Um, yeah, probably shoot some of that out later today, and then uh, probably also Monday and Tuesday or something. I want to ideally get parts uh, parts one through five are up currently. I want to get parts six through twenty four up before the end of the month, ideally. Uh, so, so yeah, more of those will be uh, be going out soon. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna end off here for tonight. Uh, with that, stay safe. Hope to see y'all later. And uh, Slava Ukraini. <laughs>